What is up everyone? This is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join my channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. But anyway guys, so... Yeah. This picture. I don't know what to say. You know, I've seen everyone's stuff about it, reaction and all that, you know. Ugh, just dark side. Why would you cut out dark side from the Snyder Cut? Why would you change up the Snyder Cut? Why would you listen to these idiot bloggers who have no idea what they are talking about? Ugh, this... It's a young dark side. That much is evident. Uh, Zack Snyder, you know, someone asked him, was this Steppenwolf or Dark Side? And then he said, Uxus. If you did not know, and he says Uxus in that painting, that's Dark Side's actual name. You know, who he is, he's young, what do you call it? What's his, what he was named or whatever. Um, Dark Side's what he, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like the title, you know, when they, if you see all the cartoons and you see that stuff, they always, they're like, for Dark Side, you know, Dark Side's just the, this, I guess you can call it a title name or whatever. But Luxus is what he's like, his actual name is. But Zack Snyder even knew that. I'm surprised. Um, honestly, I'm, I, I mean, actually not surprised anymore because of how much. Well, the fact that he mentioned the anti-life equation um, in this, you didn't see the other one, which says searching for something that would make him unbeatable. Ah. Uh, you know, Ed, I think we already knew this, though, because he told us about it earlier, that Darkseid came to Earth, not... There's a reasoning for this. That's the thing. You know, some movies, it's like, why is this villain here? But people, you know, people ask, like, why is this villain doing this? You know, that's a terrible villain. We don't really actually know why is he doing this. What's his reason for it? But Darkseid, he was going to be a great villain because his reasoning... You know, Darkseid is a bad person through and through. He's not like Thanos. He's just like, I want to save, you know, the universe by killing half the people, you know. Even though technically that it's been proven invalid, but Darkseid he doesn't care about he he's he's fine with killing people. That's not bothering him. He wants to conquer everything. That's his thing. Uh, but he has a reasoning for specifically going to Earth, you know, because of the anti-life equation, so he can control people. That's a specific reason for him just having an interest in like you know Steppenwolf, my uncle. Why don't you go check it out, you know? And you know, if we get the mother boxes, you know, we can we can do this thing. Maybe, you know, I'm not I'm saying it in a very much nicer way than Dark Side would say it, but yeah. But searching for something that would make him unbeatable, like I don't understand why Warner Bros. would cut this out. This is something amazing, you know. Zack Snyder knew what he was doing. He 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 gets these characters. He gets what he's doing. Um and you know, someone else Asked Zack Snyder, he said, Sir, may I ask you about Darkseid? Did he come to Earth to find um, Chithulu? Chith I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at pronouncing some of these DC names. But um, Zack Snyder responded, you know, and saying basically this. That's an awesome idea, but he was looking for an equation. As I said before, it was the anti-life equation. And it's, oh, I still love looking at this picture. Dude, just like, look at it. You see the ships in the background. You see, you know... You see the everything. You see him standing. It's like a paint. You know, it's almost. Like, it's like a painting. It's concept art, obviously, but it's you know, it's like sort of. It looks like a painting. You can see everything. You see the parademons. You know, you see dark side just holding a staff there, and the just. It was supposed to be like Lord of the Rings. You know, I heard, and I'm totally for that. I love the Lord of the Rings, but that type of intro, my goodness. You know, we were and it, you know, Steppenwolf supposedly or Dark Side supposedly fighting Ares. You know. That's why I said, I don't know at this point what was actually in the Snyder Cut, but, you know, Jason Moore was rumored to come out twice and say that the Snyder Cut is better. You know, he said, he said, uh, Justice League was good, but Snyder's Cut is better, you know. Like, this is just, it's so stupid. They need to hurry up and release it because they'll make a ton of money. I mean, it's just, I don't know why Jeff Johns ruined the movie. Why did you think being lighter? You, the critics don't know everything, okay? They don't get the audiences. You know, you can't just go in there, mash it up, and start putting in MCU Josh Whedon stuff in there. It doesn't fit. And then there's more stuff, you know, it just came out recently, too. Uh, Cyborg, uh, what's his name? Ray Fisher said, 
some stuff about, you know, Zack Snyder's original idea for Cyborg. You know, he said this, when Zack Snyder told me I got this idea for Cyborg, you know, because he's born from the mother box technology, he's going to have so, sort of this twisted apocalyptic look to him, you know, and people are going to be like, is this guy on the good side or on the bad side? We don't, we don't know. And even we, he won't know because the technology sort of has a mind of its own. And I was like, man, that's really cool. And Ray Fisher continues on to say, to leave that little bit of doubt as to what side this guy's going to what side this guy's going to go on and what he's going to end up i was like this is storytelling like i t like i t like i like that <laughs> i miss i'm slurring his words but the point is he loved what Zack snyder was doing with the the way he was taking cyborg's character and yeah he also said this this is the part that just you know gets me kind of annoyed at what they've done he said um what I will say is Zack had very specific plans for Cyborg and for his, traje his trajectory, and Zack probably shot enough footage in the first film to make, like, two movies out of. He definitely had a whole, I believe, a trilogy in mind with respect to Justice League. And if his vision had, had, had sort of come to fruition, Cyborg would have, would have probably been one of, if not the most powerful metahuman in the entire canon in the film universe, and that's just one of the crazy things about Zack is that he can take someone who's such a newcomer and evolve their powers to the point where, you know, Cyborg is like S tier. And, you know, that's just, it's just so frustrating, you know. Uh, I can't even explain, you know, how annoying it is. Like, why would you do that? Like, what were you hoping to gain by changing all of this? It's... It's just so frustrating. My goodness. I I can't believe, you know, I just... The part, you know, showing, like, flashbacks, you know, the way in the Lord of the Rings and the Fellowship of the Rings, you see Sauron come on the... on Mordor, on the steps of Mount Doom. He's there fighting the elven army, you know. It's like that sort of thing. We see Darkseid coming. I don't know if he's... I don't know the original plan, but coming down to Earth, you know, he's like... Looking, you know, he wants the anti life equation, his army's there. Back in, like, you know, I don't know how early, but back when, you know, we were, when dinosaurs were there, I don't know, and he's just coming there, and he's, some, you know, just, just to see something, you know, freaking see Dark Side is a magnificent moment in cinematic history. It involves superhero cinematic history, actually. Like, just, to see it would have been spot on amazing, and it's, just the other more reason why we need the Snyder Cut. It's just we all need it, okay? It'll bring us all a peace of mind. It'll be amazing to see. We've never seen something like this, you know? Uh, but anyway, I, that's probably the video. Um, hashtag release the Snyder Cut. I'll probably be watching um, Titans Episode 2. Uh, get my review on that later. But um, anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. What the are you pissed? It just, I mean, some of the stuff's old news, but it just makes you even more riled up. But let me know your thoughts down below about that. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. And make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing.